Okay, I'm going to do a quick tutorial. Actually, probably not a quick. It's going to be um, probably a multi-part because it's a very simple thing to do, but I'm going to try to make it as basic as possible, so it might take some time, but I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to do a tutorial on editing meshes and textures in Skyrim. Um, a little disclaimer, I'm on an XP machine, as you can see, my gaming PC is giving me problems at the time and I really wanted to make this tonight so I thought I'd go ahead and do it. Um, yeah, so it might be a little slow. Let me close out that. I don't know why that opened. Uh, <clears throat> but the main programs you're going to need, and they're all free, which is awesome, are Nifscope, GIMP, and Fallout Mod Manager. These three guys right here. And obviously Skyrim and Creation Kit. Well, let's start by just getting into our Skyrim directory. And then you go to your data, and you come down here, and all these BSA files, Skyrim, Dash, all these. It doesn't show it because it's XP, and it might, it tells you what type it is, but it's a BSA file. And your computer will not know how to open it until you install Fallout, Fallout Mod Manager. And then when you double click on like Skyrim textures, your computer will still say, I don't know how to open it. You have to default it to Fallout Mod Manager, which I'm pretty sure uh, you know how to do. If not, message me. And if you don't know how to do that, then you need like Computer Lessons 101. But anyway, these are all the textures uh, in Skyrim. They all end in DDS. Uh, DDS files are going to be associated with GIMP. And by the way, you're going to need a DDS plugin for GIMP. I'm going to include links to all three of these programs plus the GIMP DDS plugin that you need in the video description. But what we're going to do today is edit some Daedric armor. So if you try to find that in this, it'll take you all day. But they have this nice search bar, and you type Daedric. And notice file structure. It uh, starts, I mean, you get your textures for everything because they're all textures. But then you got clutter, ignore weapons, ignore armor. Wow, boom. Right click on armor. Left click, I'm sorry, I said right click. Left click on the first armor. Go down to the end of the armor, hold shift, click on the last one, hit extract. Now you want that to go to your Skyrim data folder. It's automatically doing that because I've done some stuff on this computer already. But that's that's where you're going to want it. I'm not going to do it again, so cancel. And then the only other one we're messing with is meshes. And it's going to do the same thing. But I'll show you again. Type in Daedric. I mean, same layout. Typed it in wrong. D A E D R I C. Weapons, ignore, armor. Boom, left click. Find the last armor. Shift. Boom, left click. Extract. Data folder. Okay. But I'm going to hit cancel because it's already there. Alright, we're done with Fallout Mod Manager. So, get that guy out of here. We're done with him. <coughs> the next. Oops. Sorry, my microphone is messing up. And I'm also using a really crappy desktop recording software because I can't get Cam Studio to work. Little rabbit trail here. I'm using SM Recorder, which I could get to work. That's why I'm using it. But if I'm getting the green flashing screen on Cam Studio, but I mean, that whole other story. Um, all right, back to back to what we're talking about. You go to your data folder. Now you're going to have some folders called textures and meshes. You might have had those before because some if you had some mods installed that had customized textures and meshes, they'll be there. If not, they're new. So let's start with textures. And I have more here than you will if you did exactly what I just did. And then you go to armor cuz it's the same file structure I was showing you earlier. Then you're going to have Daedric and this is everything that we just extracted. And what we're going to mess with is the armor. 
ignore the underscore M and N on everything. So we're going to mess with this guy. What I like to do is copy and paste him. I just did a control C, control V. And then rename the copy. And I like to put triple O at the front. So it's going to show up at the top whenever you load this folder. That way, you always got that as a backup in case you really, really mess that up and you want to start from scratch. So this is a DDS file. And you're going to have to associate it with GIMP. Uh, mine's going to automatically open GIMP. I had just hit enter. <clears throat> but um, yours are going to say, I don't know how to open it, I don't know what to do. You find GIMP. Set as your default DDS opener. Done. While GIMP loads, we'll do the same thing with meshes. Meshes. Once again, I have some more stuff. Ignore that. Armor. Daedric. Now there's a lot more going on in here than in the textures. Um, you get your first person and then you got everything else and they don't call it armor in here they call it Kirkus and I like to mess with a uh, Kirkus Go so I'm gonna copy paste it it's gonna show up down here F2 rename it triple O enter okay while I was doing that GIMP opened um, this dialog is gonna automatically appear and you uncheck load mid maps and you hit OK. And that is the texture of your Daedric armor. Now a little uh, comment on well what is a texture, what is a mesh? My best description is the texture is the skin or the face of what you see in Skyrim. So I'm a 190 pound white male if you want to know that information this is going to show up just as the white part the, and that is the texture the mesh on the other hand is going to show up as the 190 pound shape of me the 3D object of me and I'm going to come down here to what I just opened. Now these are all NIF files, so you're going to, I'm going to open it and it's going to automatically open NIF scope. <clears throat> but this is going to be a 3D object. And there it is. Boom. They're really easy to move around. All I'm doing is left clicking and dragging my mouse to get different points of view. We're going to expand some of these menus because we're going to need them for a second. and we're going to close that. And just to avoid confusion, I might have covered this already, I don't remember. GIMP has a lot of toolbars, which we don't have all of them. The main one that I'm going to mess with is the patterns. This guy right here. Bring that guy over there. That guy there. That guy there. Try to organize it the best way you think you can. There's no perfect way, but whatever. And then NIF scope over here. But NIF scope, it's showing up, it's all white. Because it doesn't know how to link the mesh, which is the 3D object, to the texture, which is the, the skin, the face of what you see. <clears throat> and there's a lot of ways to link it up. Actually, there's only two. But for armor and weapons and clutter, um, I think this is the best way. You come over here to the left, and you expand your fade node, and you look for Nitra shape, and you expand that. Then you look for lighting shader property. I'll click there, and you expand that, and then you hit your texture set. Then you, then this is going to pop up down here, and you expand your textures. Now you're going to have four things down here: ignore underscore n ignore the Q map and ignore underscore M not sure what they do but overall I've done this a little bit and I've made it work without messing with those so in order for this 
To link up with that, we need this DDS file to be that DDS file. So you click on that purple icon, and mine automatically came into the right window, but you might have to search for it. And there's my triple O, my copy, of the Daedric Armor, and you hit open. And look at that. So now everything over here matches up with everything over there which is pretty cool. It might not seem pretty cool yet, but what I'm going to show you will make it seem pretty cool. Now you'll, your toolbar over here is probably going to have your paintbrush automatically just by default loaded. And it's probably black. So you can come over here and you can just scribble around, do whatever you want, and as soon as you hit File, Save, this is going to update, and, sorry, if any time you click on that it shows a skeleton, uh, you don't want to see that, and you're going to see, I'm holding down the middle mouse wheel to pan like that, if you scroll the middle mouse wheel it zooms, if you hold the left mouse button it does that, really, I mean, really easy to understand, but that looks horrible, don't want to do that, but that works. So we're going to edit undo and hit file save. The reason it, it does that is because it, it this is directly linked to that. So anytime that is changed, this is changed. But the most fun thing to do are patterns. To me. Especially with armor and weapons. So in the um, GIMP window if you notice when you first open GIMP everything is selected. If I don't know if you can see that yellow and black dotted line I can make it a little more obvious. If you click on this rectangular select tool you do that now that's only selected or that's only selected that's only selected. You hit edit undo, edit, un oh, edit undo, undo, undo. So now the whole thing is selected. Well here's some of my patterns so that's a camo one. I'll drag that over. And you hit file, save. Now look at that. That does not look bad. That does not look bad at all. So. But there's a whole lot of other things we can do. So we're going to undo that. File, save. Whoops, I had save as. File, save. In order to get patterns, you're going to have a lot more here than I do. Just initially, you're not going to have these, I guarantee it. You'll have the default GIMP ones. You're going to want to get patterns from the internet. I mean, any PNG JPEG file on the internet that you can find that is any type of pattern that would look good on anything, you can apply it to this. And in order to do that, there's a couple steps you have to follow. First of all, you see you have this folder here set up as patterns. These are all the patterns that I've downloaded off the internet. And if you notice, all of these show up right there. And in order to do that, you come into GIMP. You hit edit. I think you hit edit. Hold on. I got messed up with this earlier. And I got to, I'm almost positive it's edit. Yep, yeah, preferences, folders, scroll down, find your patterns. And you're going to have two folders here already. And they're going to be selected. I deleted mine, even though I, I, I could have kept them because, they, like I said, there are some pretty cool patterns that uh, GIMP comes loaded with. But, um,. I'm gonna uh, I think I'm running out of time so I'm gonna go ahead and stop now and we will get going here in a second but I'll be right back